Two rideshare drivers were carjacked in Chicago in separate incidents involving a taser. WGN's Rob Sneed is live in Palmer Square with the latest on those investigations. Rob. Chicago police will not confirm if either one of those carjackings are connected, but they are investigating both, they say. Folks who live out in the community say that they wish those drivers well. As an old Uber driver and Lyft driver, um, it is scary picking up people and going to different places in different areas. You just never know. You just never know. Tierra Strickland was a rideshare driver at one point, and she doesn't want to go back, especially after hearing someone carjacked and attacked two rideshare drivers with a taser. When you hear they, they used a taser, when you hear that, what goes through your mind? Even more shocking. That, 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 that sounds like it hurts. I'm baffled right now. The first around 10 last night near the corner of North Sawyer Avenue and West George Street in Logan Square. After a ride share driver picked up two men, the victim said one of the suspects used a taser to stun him. He got out of his car and the suspects drove off. That's bad, you know, they just trying to help the community, you know, um, out here trying to make a living. About an hour later, another attack near the corner of West Ohio Street and North St. Louis Avenue in East Garfield Park. It's close to where Stasha Hankins lives. She says it's just one more thing to scare folks away. That's making it bad for the neighborhood. Police say this rideshare driver picked up two suspects as well. The suspect stunned the driver in the neck, causing him to stop his car. They took off with the vehicle. They can't do nothing with these kids. So far, police have not made any arrests in either one of those carjackings. Reporting live on the city's north side, Rob Sneed, WGN News. Checking in now.